Good day, beautiful, bountiful, beloved immortal beings and good looking people. Remember, you're good looking because you're always looking for and finding the good. Where did we leave our intrepid heroes? Oh, yes. Look, it's still burning. That's the oil. One small jug of oil, not even a jug, just a small amount of oil to fill the cups, the seven branch candelabra called the menorah in the holy temple, which is now rededicated because the Maccabees had ousted the occupying forces of the alien Greek Syrians and cleansed the temple and now wanted to light, but there was nothing to light with except one small amount of oil was found. It wouldn't even have lasted more than an hour or so, but we just do what we're supposed to do and everything else has to take care of itself. That's the genius of God running the world, right? They filled it up appropriately, put in the wicks, lit, and lo and behold, it's a biblical kind of talk, lo and behold, yay, light was coming up. It burned, the oil burned, the light illuminated. It was pure, it was invigorating. It was life affirming. And what happened? It continued to burn night after night, day during day. For how long? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days from one small amount of oil. Not possible on this world. And today we have this the menorah, the eight branched candelabra. But you'll notice, wait a minute, Barry Shore, I count nine. Well, yes, but you notice that one of them is different than the other eight. We'll talk about that in just a bit. But the point is now, I'm going to go deep into something that is very esoteric. I think you'll enjoy it a lot. The menorah in the Holy Temple, which again, was there for Second Temple was existence for 420 years until it was destroyed and leveled by the Romans in the year 70 of the Common Era. The first holy temple lasted for 410 years in the holy city of Jerusalem, in the land of Israel, until the Babylonians came and destroyed it. We went into exile for 70 years, then came back and rebuilt. The menorah is seven branches. What is seven? Seven represents time here, seven days of the week. That's the what we'll call, for want of a better term, the natural progression of time. By the way, time is a wonderful acronym that stands for thinking it's miraculous every day. (laughs) Another one is teaching it's miraculous every day, which we're doing now. The ability to understand time is involved with seven. The miraculous events of the Hanukkah miracles, one was beating a large opposing force, and the other was the burning of the oil and illuminating for eight days in a row was exactly that. The number eight, if you look at it the way we use it in Arabic numerals, standing straight up vertically, it's eight. If you put it on its side horizontal, yes, now you see the eight is the same symbol as infinity. Eight is that step above the natural, bringing us into the supernatural, supranatural. And that's really what this remarkable time period called Hanukkah is about. The ability to transcend time and space and enable us to transform ourselves and become the agent of light to all around us, for yourself, your family, your friends, and by definition, all living beings. When we do that, we are now integrating the Hanukkah miracle into our very souls, into our very bodies, and we now become the light bearers to the world. That's really what Hanukkah is about. The great miracles that took place, the Festival of Freedom, The Festival of Lights is all about the transformational process that's involved with oil that burns, that shouldn't have lasted, that did. And just like the Jewish people have lasted for over 3,500 years continuously, 
presence in the land of Israel for all that time, and to be here today to celebrate and to affirm that life has purpose and we can go mad, go make a difference. So I urge everybody, go forth, live exuberantly, spread the seeds of joy, happiness, peace, and love. Go mad, go make a difference. Thank you.